Hello everyone. In many of our church assemblies today, there is much emphasis of the gift of the Holy Spirit. And though the gift of the Spirit are wonderful and exciting, but if it is not ministered in love, they are worth nothing and can even be abused and become destructive. So today we'll be speaking on the topic pure love. And our text is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. And I'll be reading from the Easy Translation Bible. And it says, I may be able to speak different languages that people or angels speak. That is worth nothing if I do not love other people. I will only be making a loud noise like someone who hits a piece of metal. I may be able to speak messages from God. I may understand all God's secret things and know all the facts. I may have great faith so that I trust God enough to move mountains. But I am nothing if I do not love others. I may give all my things to help the poor. I may let other people take my body to burn it. But that will not help me if I do not love others. Paul, Apostle Paul begins this chapter by describing how useless even destructive spiritual gifts are when not applied from a standpoint of view which is love. Displays of tongues, prophetic powers and supernatural spiritual knowledge may be impressive but they are worthless if not used as intended by God out of a heart of love for him and other people. Even the most spiritual activities that is selling everything to give to the poor and sacrifice one's life to be born for the sake of others gain a person nothing. You need gains a person nothing if not done or given in love according to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 we just read. The love we are talking about here it is not the love of swollen feeling that we we sometimes have and go away. Neither is it the love of flowery or eloquent words. The love we are talking about is God's love that comes from the Greek word agape, which is unconditional love by a Christian. It is unconditional in the sense that it does not depend on the one being loved, but is on the commitment of on the one carrying out the love. Paul uses 14 verbs and action to describe this kind of love. Seven are positive statements about what love does and the other seven are negative statements about what love do not do. In all cases, true Christian love is about setting oneself aside for the good of other people. So now we're looking at what love does and what love do not do. Number one. Love is patient and kind. It actively waits and actively moves for the good of others. On the other hand, love do not heavy or boast. Number two, love is not arrogant, convinced of one's superiority over others. Number three, love is not rude, meaning it does not act indecently, it does not sin, nor breaking the cultural norms of bringing attention to oneself. What do I mean by this statement? Sometimes I see a lot of good done in, 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 in social media and all about, and, and everywhere. But I begin to ask myself, this is good. But then I begin to ask, I went to the Bible to begin to check. The Bible, the Bible said this kind of love should be as what is described in the scripture. That if your right hand is doing good, your left hand should not know what your right hand is doing. Meaning sometimes if you are doing somebody good, the world should not know about it. But so now we find ourselves displaying this so much attention to people by giving arms or help to others. I believe strongly that is not the kind of love Apostle Paul is talking about here. Giving one naira, giving some pennies to someone because they are not it and going to the social media and broadcasting it. I think that is not the kind of help or love for Apostle Paul is trying to describe here. Number four, love genuinely commits itself to seeking good of other people. Love is not easily irritatable or provoked when other people get in their way. 
Love does. Love also means truly letting go of past hurts instead of storing them up and keeping them in a record of their wrongdoings. That is not love. You sometimes we forgive, we don't forget. That is not love. Love means actually letting those past hurts go as if they never exist. That will cop your love. Love loves truth. Love does not set limits on love. Bible says that when a, when a brother comes to you for, for you to escort him a mile, Jesus Christ said, out of love, go two mile. If your brother asks you for a coat, give him your tonic instead. You know, so go the extra mile to do what your brother or sister is asking you. That was the particular statement he's saying. Love has no limits. Love does not declare this is how far I can go or I cannot go further than this. Love bears. It does not put up with all things for the good of others. It puts up with all things for the good of others. This is true, but it means but if it means loving from a greater distance to have to avoid being abused or being hurt, you can love from a distance. So wisdom is applicable to apply. That's what I can say concerning this. Number eight, love believes all things, pushing the burden of truthfulness onto others instead of carrying the burden of uncovering falsehood. What do I mean by this? Someone come to tell you something. Why don't you just believe that person instead of trying to uncover, to, no, try to, to carry the burden to uncover what that person has said? How is that concerns you? So you just to just to love. So mean love, you know, love just believe all things, giving or leaving the burden of truthfulness to the person, other than carrying the burden to uncover the person's falsehood. Love covers all. Number nine, love do not stop hoping. For other people to do good, no matter the evidence of the past, love do not quit when the trials of life pile up. Love keeps going. In conclusion, Paul summed this thing up very well. He said, "Love never fails." Christians may fail to love, as, as the Corinthians have clearly demonstrated, because that First Corinthians chapter thirteen verse one to eight declared how the Corinthians actually expressed their love in a very negative way. So Paul was writing a letter to them to tell them how love should be, which we have just illustrated or described to you in, a, in, in the before now. But God's kind of love will always be affected. Why? Because it has shown that if for, if for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ to die for us. And as many have believed him, he has given them the power to become sons of God and have a, a, everlasting life. Unlike spiritual gifts, which will no longer be needed when Christ comes. So speaking in tongues, healing, casting out demons, all that will not be in use. In fact, they'll be relevant, irrelevant when Christ comes. But the only thing that will last forever is love, according to 1 Corinthians 4 verse 8. And also, I say a very big thank you for taking time out to listen to the word of God and the verse of the day. I encourage you, love more. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.